Spencer from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to meet you. Um, could you kick off with a brief introduction? What can people expect from the series and also your character? Uh, my name is Louis Darren. I'm playing Elendil, uh, who, if you want a shortcut, he's uh, Aragorn's 38th great 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 grandfather. So there's a history there. Um, I just think it's going to, it's because when I read uh, The Hobbit as a kid, my imagination was blown. Uh, and I think because of the events in the second age, which is thousands of years before the events of Lord of the Ring, Rings, I just think the Rings of Power just visually will blow your mind. The story that Tolkien has, has fabricated will blow your mind, and, and the work that everybody has put in will uh, hopefully bring this tale to life. And did you feel a weight of responsibility? I mean, where did you begin? Did you go back to the books, back to the other films? Did you just kind of start from the script? What was your reference point? Yeah, you, there's always a balance. If you do have source material, so you, you go into the source material and then you deal with the script and you try and compare and contrast what's going on and see what's been left out, why it's been left out. Then you get into rehearsals, talking to the writers, talking to the director, all of the expertise of all of the, the costume designers. And in my case, you know, this is uh, the fans of the Lord of the Rings series. No, 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 um, uh, the, uh, Lended as a hero archetype, and so he's very. People are very attached to him because of his self-sacrificial death against Sauron in the beginning of the Third Age. And um, I think what's wonderful is that Tolkien's only written a few signposts along the way as to who this man is, and we get to flesh him out in three dimensions. So that's very exciting. And it must have been incredible walking onto set. You know, the production value is incredible. Cast. What were some of the highlights and challenges for you? Yeah, I think I think I expected because of the era that we're in, I was going to be standing in front of a green screen, and it was the absolute opposite. I, I can't, I can hardly remember seeing a green screen in the sense that the production designers built Numenor, and it took five months to build. And when you step on it, it's the most stunning piece of work I, I've ever come across. The attention to detail, the depth of detail, how they built a city, essentially, and layer upon layer of history was in there. Uh, it was a very insp inspiring experience, actually. And very quickly, what do you hope people take away? I mean, it's so great to get lost in the world, but there's also a lot of nuance and values in it as well. Yeah, I think Tolkien's great power was that he condensed some of the great Northern European myths and, uh, and that, you know, he has great integrity in, in the local part of that and it's a universal tale and mythology has been part of our culture since we were walking and talking and, and it explains, mythology tells you what it is to be human but it goes direct to your heart and avoids your head and I think hopefully you'll get a whole lot of heart from this show. Yeah, I was three foot six when I started this show, and I've been eating. I got to six foot one now, so I've just got to keep going. And, uh, they got me in a special diet, so hopefully I'll get really tall. But he's he's also a giant in terms of his his heroism, which we know that if, if you know you Lord of the Rings, he'll get he'll get to the to the last alliance of elves and men to lead that fight against Sauron, and then there's a sort of self-sacrificial death. So people are very attached to this to this hero. The hero archetype. So what's what's great responsibility and, and excitement is that Tolkien only wrote a very limited amount about Elin. So we get this chance to open him up and give a fully rounded three-dimensional human being. And that's the responsibility and the excitement. Oh yeah, well, and almost everything I've read about the Second Age, you know, just the, the depth and scope of his of his imagination. And I'm I'm a big fan of Joseph Campbell, who was a, a great academic about mythology. And I'm very surprised that I think they were at the same time, but I don't think they ever met. So some of those mythological themes have been very joyful to be around. And and thus I guess the surprise is how brilliantly he has shaped and changed those stories into a format that we all can understand and is immediately accessible and gives us a certain relief when we watch him because it explains what it is to be human. Yeah. Potentially, <laughs> yeah. as long as we're not too rude to anyone. Uh, yeah, but one, yes, exactly. It yeah. is really exciting to, 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 to know that you've got some time to develop a character. Yeah. That's, very, that's a very privileged position because that doesn't always happen. Um, and I think, yeah, I'm very excited to find out how, how he grows through that, through that time and space.